All right, for sure. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to our Monday AMA. Happy Halloween for anybody that's celebrating that. Um, we're going to have a pretty special AMA today because I have some big news that I want to kind of give you guys a hint on. Um, but before we get into that, um, let's talk about some topics that I kind of lined up for today's AMA. And we've had a crazy weekend leading up to this. Uh, the reason I'm saying so is because we saw Dogecoin pump to over 100%. Um, we saw Shiba, we saw you know Doji on Mars, we saw some of these other you know big ticket blue chip established meme coins in the world have a huge spike. And why did that happen? The only correlation that anybody is tying together right now is it has to do with the Twitter takeover that that Elon had put in place, right? So I think um, this whole Twitter deal that uh, is happening is going to be one of the biggest things to happen for us in the space because um, it, it's going to introduce a lot of new doors that we hadn't been open to. Uh, one being, and nobody really discusses this, but being shadow banned on Twitter, right? Uh, what is shadow banned? Shadow banned is pretty much like your content doesn't reach the amount of people that it should reach. And the reason why it does that is because, you know, there are social media companies like, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and what that and whatnot, that they actually implement these shadow bans. So you won't even know your shadow ban, um, but they're just suppressing you. So whether that's the case for a lot of crypto projects or not, uh, Elon already came up and said that he's not going to be supporting shadow bans. And he's actually having all the Tesla engineers that, you know, help build a lot of code, look into Twitter's code to make sure they can remove all that shadow ban. So what does that do? That opens a lot more reach to a lot more people uh, in the space of crypto. Earlier in, in our Telegram chat today, we were talking about uh, the entire crypto market cap, which is right now hovering at like right around $1 trillion. It's like $1.01 .01 trillion right now. <clears throat> Putting into perspective that the all-time high was double that, it was about $2 trillion, a little over $2 trillion. Somebody asked a good question. He said, what do you think the next all-time high for crypto is going to be? And before I could even answer, he answered and said $5 trillion was his guess. And I think that's a pretty good guess, considering that we're moving further into the age of technology. We're moving further into the age of Web3. We're moving further into the age of blockchain, right? There's always those golden ages. There's the, you know, uh, the golden age that happened, you know, a century ago, and then the golden age that happened a decade ago. And then what's the next golden age? Obviously, all signs, literally all signs lead to blockchain, metaverse. They, they just all lead here. No matter how you look at it, this is the future. So what do we have to do in order to prepare for that? In order to prepare for that is to actually try to get as many people adopted to the whole concept of crypto that we possibly can in the time frame. Now, obviously, when things are in a bear market, uh, people are kind of discouraged to do any of that. People are kind of discouraged to actually hop in as new investors or new people being pioneers. I get that. That's uh that's that's a difficult part. Not, it's not free, right? Nothing is free. If anything is free, that means you're the product. So, you know, these these people who take leaps and actually start learning about this stuff are going to be uh, well rewarded for their knowledge. You know, one thing that I wish somebody told me growing up, and I really wish somebody told me this, is, you know, put yourself out there. Go to somebody that's super successful, like living the like living the life that you're living, uh, that you want to live, right? And, you know, if I was like 17, 18 years old again, and somebody had told me this, I would definitely do it. So I'd go to this person and I would say, hey, I'm willing to work for you for free for, I don't know, 100 days, 120 days, literally for free. All I want is knowledge. All I want is connections. And all I want is guidance. And within those 100, 120 days, if you work super hard, overachieve, right, if you overachieve, and you should, at the end of the period, 
if the person is still willing to pay you or lose you, then that's up to them. You get what I'm saying? So work hard so that you could get paid to stay and nobody wants to lose you. That that's that's just something that I really wish somebody told me. And it would have changed my life in in a way where, you know, growing up, obviously I had a lot of struggles uh, trying to come up with the next big thing and trying to, you know, I've always been an entrepreneur and I've always, you know, had different businesses going on at the same time and trying to, you know, juggle a few things here and there where realistically I could have just focused on one thing and been great at one thing rather than trying to find it in a million other places. So that's the whole the beauty of the crypto market is it all belongs in to that one category, the crypto market, whether you're invested in this project, whether you're invested in 20 other projects, it doesn't matter. You're going to find success in the space and the space is where everything lives. <clears throat> Puts me into my next thing is, is the metaverse really the future? So this is something that I, I kind of want to talk about because uh, there's a lot of negative like sentiment on the metaverse right now. And, and a lot of people think that it's a failed thing. I mean, and they have every right to think so in a way because you look at Decentraland and I, <laughs> I saw this article, I was reading this article the other day, Decentraland, obviously you guys have probably heard of it. It's one of the biggest uh, metaverses. They only have like 38 daily active users literally and they're worth you know billions and billions and billions of dollars 38 active users <laughs> that's funny to me um but then on the other side you have companies like meta previously known as facebook burning billions of dollars every quarter every year into uh developing the next stage of the metaverse so do I think it's the future? Yes. Do I think the way that it's being done right now is the future? No. So there definitely needs um, some life to be brought into it and a little bit of more effort put into the things that are being done in and being called a metaverse, which I think I think Facebook is going to nail it because they have the big, most resources to do so. I think, they, I think they put $10 billion into it in this last quarter or this last year. Yeah, ten billion dollars is what they spent on development just last year, and they've got endless amounts of money left to do so. Um, and the reason why they're they're going so you know knee deep into the metaverse is because Facebook is finally, for the first time ever, seeing a decline in their user base. So they made as much money as they possibly could in the decade that they ruled the internet they literally ruled the internet um they lost a lot of money and they're losing a lot of money because of new features that are being added to you know phones like iphones and and whatnot that don't allow you to share your information with certain websites so that little pop-up that says don't allow this website to share my information is causing facebook a lot of money loss right so these people are trying to figure out what the next big thing is to put products and put ads in front of people's face. Cause that's in a nutshell, that's what Facebook is as a company. You know, they're an ad company, just like Google is an ad company, just like, you know, all these, even Apple is an ad company. If you think about it, they all make their majority of their money on ads. And, um, I think the metaverse is going to be a huge, a huge play for that, but, I mean, obviously, we're going to probably wait another two years to see uh, how the adoption on that will go. Now, I'm sure you guys are waiting for the juicy stuff. <laughs> the juicy stuff is we have something massive planned for the holidays. Um, <laughs> and what I mean massive is uh, it's, it's pretty big because it's involving 16 of the biggest projects on DeFi, in DeFi. Um, the biggest projects in DeFi. I'm talking about real players. I'm talking about big players. I'm talking about uh, people that you've heard of and and people that you've missed out on. You know, including Shiba and including Doge and including you know some of these other huge people. And we're actually going to announce everything of the about the event and what's going on uh, on the Twitter Spaces that uh, was supposed to happen last week, but we had to reschedule because of. Um, some technical difficulties on, on our hosts. And so 
we're rescheduling that uh, and we're going to do it on Thursday. We were supposed to do it tomorrow too, but we rescheduled it. We're going to do it on Thursday uh, as planned. So it's going to be a huge AMA. We're going to be discussing and revealing all the information as to, um, um, go, go ahead. Somebody was trying to say something. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So 16 of the biggest projects, we're going to have a full disclosure, full, um, uh, announcement as to what's happening and how we're going to monetize it on Thursday's Twitter spaces uh, with our hosts. We're, we're um, collaborating with a Twitter page called Shiba Holder. Uh, they've got like close to 400,000 followers on Twitter and then they have their um, they have their interviewer and, and some other people who are going to be hopping in and out too. You guys are all more than welcome to join. You guys are more all more than welcome to ask questions and do all, all that good stuff too. We're giving away some money as well into in that AMA. So it's going to be big. Um, and the event isn't going to be a one day event. It isn't going to be a one week event. It's going to be a whole month long event. And it's going to be featuring some of the biggest projects in space. It's going to be featuring a lot of the biggest communities in the space. And uh, here's a statistic that you guys didn't know, or maybe you did, um, but I didn't know. I kind of always guessed it in my head, but I didn't know. And today we kind of got a fact fact check about it. Uh, 97.7% of all projects that have been launched on Uniswap have all been rugged. That's 9.8 out of 10 projects. How insane is that? That's That blows my mind that that's how bad that statistic is. <laughs> it, it's really sad. So... You know, we're kind of glorifying all of these big time, huge projects that did it with a good heart, did it honestly, made it as far as they did and literally solidified themselves as, you know, legends in the space. Because let's face it, 20 years from now, 10 years from now, we're going to look back at, at some of these bigger um, DeFi projects, you know, Shiba, Doge, uh, you know, I could name 200 other, 20 other ones that are just going to be legendary. They're going to be part of history, right? They, they kind of started it all, if you really think about it, including us. So this event is going to, you know, really highlight a lot of those communities. It's really going to highlight a lot of those projects. And it's really going to highlight a lot of the history that came into the meme coin space. Now, why are, why are meme coins so powerful? Because just look, look back at this weekend. Literally, with the blink of an eye, you can close your eyes and open them, and it's a hundred percent plus candle. You know what I'm saying? We saw that on Dogecoin over the weekend. We saw it with um, Kishu. We saw it with Floki. We saw it with a bunch of other ones. Unfortunately, we didn't see it here, but that you know that doesn't mean anything. What it means is that we're in the right space and we're in the right place. So, um, what we're putting together and and uh, what Max is really working hard on is is this event that we're going to introduce. Um, so I think it's going to be that that big thing that we all all wanted, and it's going to be something that is going to be uh, really impactful to the space. So we're looking forward to it, and we're looking forward to being able to share everything with you guys come Thursday. And on Thursday, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the spin for the the mentors on um, that participated throughout the mint weekend. So I, I don't think many mints came in, but whoever did mint, um, we're gonna we'll go ahead and put you guys all on the wheel and spin it, and somebody's gonna win. I believe 1.25 or one and a half ETH. So not bad, pretty pretty good amount. It's about two grand. But yeah, guys, um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and unmute your mics and, and let's let's have a little conversation. Uh, I think the team should match the reward for the minting special. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we're already providing the minting special, so I guess that is us matching it, right? And, oh, in a sense, no, it's not because it's accumulated from the... I get what you're saying. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, yes. that's something I can I can bring up to the 
to the guys. And maybe, I mean, maybe this won't be the last time we do this. Maybe this is something that we could do again because obviously it's just something that, that gives back to people in the way. So um, if it doesn't happen this time, maybe it's something that we can, we can have, have happen next time. So. Cool. Sounds good. No worries. Yeah. Keep yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Appreciate Thank it. You. Hi, are you, you okay, bro? Yeah, I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm good, man. Just chilling. Um, it's not really a question. Um, it's more of a statement to everyone here listening. Um, with regards, you know, it was me that was guessing that potentially we could reach the five trillion in the chat, and I just wanted to just basic maths. If we all here, you don't need to comment, Leo, but if we all here believe we can capitalize. 0.1% of the whole market. That is a $5 billion market cap. I'm just yeah. stating it for everyone to hear. That's 0.1%. <laughs> that's a $5 yeah, man. billion that's, dollar market cap. So I that's crazy. To... When you put it like that, yeah. When you put it like <laughs> that, it makes it so much more attainable, right? Um, when people... You, people look at the glass half empty and then some people look at the glass half full. So it's always good to think think that way because you're right. If it is a $5 trillion market cap and we're not able to secure 0.1% of, of that, of the people, of, the, of the, the value that's in the space, then that means we're doing something wrong, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> oh, so th that's, you know, that's, much. that's the thing, man. We, we, we definitely know we want to be as big as we possibly can. And obviously it's going to take time for that to happen. And it's going to take a lot of new circumstances to reach that $5 trillion market cap for the entire crypto market. But that doesn't mean we're not along for the ride and we're not here to adapt and make sure that we can, you know, make the most of it in that process. Because I truly, in my heart, believe that $5 trillion dollars market cap for the crypto market is 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 easy it's something that it could literally it could do it in a week if it wanted to you know it's uh it's yeah it's yeah exactly so that's why i kind of wanted to talk about uh i put a poll up in here who wants to talk who wanted to uh or who remembered the gamestop and amc short squeeze in 2021 and how fast it happened so for anybody who doesn't know what a short squeeze is i'll, I'll kind of give a super quick, super brief explanation. I don't really want to get into it because I could explain it for hours, but a short squeeze. Um, in a nutshell, let's say let's say Sonny thought GameStop was going out of business, right? So Sonny would short GameStop. And what what is a short? Shorting is thinking like, hey, okay, the price of GameStop is now $10. I think it's going to go to $1. So instead of making money on the way up, you're making money on the way down. Now, obviously, it's, you know, sometimes smart to short stocks if you think about it, because if you could tell a company is, you know, going down, you can make some money on, on its downfall. But the case was very, very special with, with GameStop and AMC, because what happened was a lot of people and a lot of institutions thought that GameStop was going out of business. So they all shorted. They literally all shorted GameStop. I think their short float was at like 130% at one point. So that means uh, there were no more shares left to, to, to short. So, so what happened is a group, a group of people on Reddit called Wall Street Bets kind of gathered a whole bunch of people together, a whole bunch of people, and they said, hey, we're going up against these people. We're not letting GameStop go out of business. So what did they do? They all started buying up GameStop. They all started buying up AMC. Uh, when I mentioned GameStop, just know I'm talking about AMC too. I just don't want to say both of them at the same time. So they all started buying up GameStop. And what did this cause, right? It caused these shorts to start losing money because they shorted at $10. Let's say you short $1,000 on the stock that's worth $10, right? For every dollar that that stock goes up, you lose I believe a hundred dollars. Yeah, you lose a hundred dollars for every dollar that the stock, uh, every dollar that the price moves up in. So, think about it. There were millions and billions and billions of dollars, you know, being shorted on on um, on GameStop. So when the prices started going up and these institutions started losing 
millions, literally, you know, over overnight, they panic. And not only do they have to cover those short positions, they actually have to, in a sense, uh, deal with what their broker is saying. So their broker might force them to cover their short position. And the rally that it had was absolutely insane. I, I was actually a part of it with a, in a very small position. Um, and I think it went from like $5 to about $400 within less than a month. So it, it obliterated, it obliterated people that were shorting it. And how did it even get so big is because of that group of people. You know, it's not fundamentals that always make you moon. It's really not. It's the community that's actually driving the force behind what they want to push, right? And that's why I think it's so powerful for us to continue being strong as a community and being bound together as a community, because that's what's going to take us to the next level. Obviously, the fundamentals and obviously the utility that we're bringing to the table, that's all cool. That's all, that's all amazing stuff. But nothing that we build and bring to the table can compare to the strength of a bound community. You get what I'm saying? You know, we can have the most innovating thing in the world, but if there is no community to share it with and there is no community to push that forward, then it's nothing. So that's why I think it's so powerful. And, and the proof is in the pudding. Like you see it happen with those stocks. You see it happen with Shiba, you see it happen with Doge, you see it happen with all kinds of stuff. So it, the proof is in the pudding. You know, I've been seeing some negative stuff here and there in the chats. Let's just cut it out with that stuff, man. Let's focus on the mission. The, mo the, the mission is to just be positive. The mission is to unify. The mission is to innovate. The mission is to teach and the mission is to succeed. That's it. There's no time to waste with being negative and anything that is involving negativity just drive it out of this chat like i don't want to see it you get what i'm saying so here's the deal moving forward right we're going to be doing our next big unity event obviously the first unity event was pretty successful with the whole space thing then we launched elon into space we donated 50k to um charities we did all kinds of cool stuff so this next unity event is going to be 16 times bigger in a sense not dollar value wise but we're actually involving 16 more uh 16 more projects into the equation, right? So you have a lot of communities in the mix. You have a lot of people who are actually part of um, the space who are going to want to get involved and who are actually, without a doubt, going to see the words Shiba Doge and the words burn and the our NFTs, no matter how they look at it, because they're going to want to participate. So regardless of the point, whether they convert or not, the, 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 the whole point of what we're trying to do with this next Unity mission is to bring more positivity back into the space because I feel like with the bear market rolling in, I mean, that when the bear market rolled in and when all this negativity hit the table, um, you know, a lot of a lot of people lost hope in a lot of a lot of things, n not just in our project, but multiple other projects and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So we want to be able to, you know, spark something cool for those people again. We want to be able to kind of help everybody uh, get their minds back on track for what the mission really is. The mission in crypto, it's, it's plain and simple, is literally to go to the moon, right? That's what everybody wants in crypto. That's kind of in the pudding, that's what everybody wants. So obviously we, we, we rerouted and made a stop at the space station <laughs> with everybody else, right? So it's time to get back on track, time to, time to keep the moon mission going, guys. So we're actually going to be ending off the year really strong. We're going to be doing a lot of cool things. We have our one year anniversary coming up. We have a lot of, a lot of big things planned for the rest of the year. And we're going to start it off by, by doing this next unity event. So I, I, I guarantee you guys Thursday's Twitter space AMA is a do not miss. Like, even if you miss it, just make sure to listen in on it. Cause there, we are going to be sharing a lot of cool stuff and there are going to be a lot of cool things being, um, being brought to the table on Thursday. So I'm super excited. And hopefully by then my voice will be 100% back, so I don't sound like a <laughs> sound like however I sound right now, which I feel okay. I feel great. I feel back to normal again. It's just my voice. I can I can feel it's not the same. Nah, you sound good, bro. Yeah, you, you sound, sound good. good. And yeah, for everyone just listening, just remember 0.1% <laughs> madness. Yeah, man. All right.
That's I'm that's done. all it is, bro. That's all it is. Yeah. It, it, it... Go ahead, Sonny. No, no, I'm done. I sorry to interrupt you. I just wanted to share that with my community. Like, I just did basic basic math and where I think we're gonna be as a market versus what the value of that point one percent is. Like, just remember, guys, five. That's five billion dollars market cap. 0.1%. Yeah, man. I mean, look, that I'm sure you guys are familiar with another project called K Kishu. I'm not trying to shill it or anything. It's, it's a project that everyone probably should know about. If you're interested in the space, you should know about it. Um, Kishu was one of the first like dog meme tokens, right? It, it, it sparked with, um, you know, Doge, it sparked with Shiba. I think it was came, even came out before Shiba, came out around the time Floki came out, came out around the time uh, Akita came out. There was a bunch of OG ones, right? I think Kishu reached like a five or six or seven billion dollar all time high based off like nothing, right? Based off it just being a meme coin and that's it. No utility, no nothing, n absolutely nothing to it. Just just the fact that, you know, it's a dog meme coin and dog meme coins were, were the thing when that started. And I also want to let you guys know that when Kishu hit their all-time high, I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think ETH wasn't even close to $2,000 and it wasn't even close to... Fifteen hundred. It might have been be below a thousand dollars in uh, per Ethereum. So, put that into perspective. How the heck does a meme project of that literally does nothing reach a six billion dollar market cap? Obviously, it's not a six billion dollar market cap now, but that means that anything is possible with the right community and the right backing and the right positivity. I was in those chats. I was in the Kishu chats all the time. It was positive. It was popping. People were happy. People were doing their thing. Right. And then once the decline started coming in, uh, everyone started freaking out because they, they don't prepare, prepare themselves that, you know, all time highs are meant to be broken and all time highs are meant to, to be tested. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, if you're at your top, you're not always going to stay at your top. And and that's that's just how it works. That's how it works in everything. That's how it works in sports. That's how it works in business. That's how it works in charts. That's how it works in projects. You always get tested, and it's about how to battle those tests that'll take you over to the next level. And obviously, we're not slowing down. We're not letting anything bother us and get to us because we know what the mission is, and we're trying to convey everything to to, to you guys and be able to let you guys know that we're battling to make sure that we could get back to exactly where we were and higher because like i said we're we're aiming for the moon but we're shooting for the stars you know take take me a little bit further i, I don't mind that's that's not the point the point isn't to, to to put a value marker on it that's not what i'm trying to do but the main point that i'm trying to to prove is with the right community with the amount of um, interaction with the amount of shilling, the amount of uh, exposure, you just inevitable. It's inevitable to get bigger. That just it, it's just how it works. It's it's law of attraction, and we're gonna prove the law of attraction here at Shiba Doge. So, buckle up, boys. It's gonna be a rough ride, but the people who survive are gonna be well rewarded. <laughs> All right, Leo. How do you expect this to speed now after all of this? I don't, bro. I want you to stay awake. I want you to stay awake until we're at like two billion market cap. Figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll sleep. Later. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, bro. I'll leave Cheers, you. brother. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm open to questions, guys. If anybody has anything they wanna they wanna convey this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Leo, let me ask you this. Yeah, what's up, Roof? And, uh, uh, oh, uh, sorry, bro. No, you sounded like Roof no, for no, a second. Just, I wasn't uh, looking at my yeah, screen. I just, I, I just woke up from an app. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> we all know how bear market can get into people in different ways. Yeah. Some people get extremely emotional. Some people lose focus. And some people just run to make decisions 
at the end they they find out they were not the most logical ones mm -hmm. can you just spend a few minutes to remind us how to to stay laser sharp focused because sometimes a few weeks back we think that we are making the most logical decision and then some of us get a bit hesitant about what am i doing am i doing the right thing or not and you know what i'm talking about this self-questioning minutes that pop up in our mind yeah so um i'll address your your question in two points so the first question that that you had was how people deal with the bear market and how it's different for everybody so let me make sure this person whether well, it doesn't matter whether they're in here or not i'm not going to name them um one of our community members about two weeks ago three weeks ago um kept dming me and saying please i need to talk please can we talk and um you know I was talking to him over over DMs, but he really wanted to get on the phone call with me. So he sent me a voice recording, and I could feel the pain in his voice. This guy, he he really wanted to talk. Something was really bothering him. So I I, I made some time for him, and I got on the I got on the call with him. Right. So I got on the call with him, and and he went on to tell me about everything that he did that in the past like three months or two months that that absolutely wrecked him. And I I mean. I hope he's listening because if, if you are listening, man, you know, I, I hope I was able to help you and I hope I was able to give you some advice that that turned things around for you. But the conversation went a little bit like this. I pick up. Hey, how are you? I, I heard your voice. I, I heard your voice message. Um, how, how could I help, man? I mean, I'm, I'm definitely here to try to help you. So conversation went on a little bit like that. And he told me, he said, hey. I got on Robinhood. You guys know what Robinhood is. It's like a stock trading thing. He's like, I got on Robinhood. I invested every single dollar that I could invest into random things that I didn't know anything about. And I immediately already off the bat over there, I was like shaking my head because I knew where this was going. So this guy bought all kinds of random things that were just, you know, realistically just pump and dumps on, on Robinhood. And, uh, he, immediately lost a lot of money, right? A lot of money. And he sold everything and then he bought it back and then he sold it again for lower and then it started pumping again and he bought it back and he sold it again for lower until eventually he got absolutely wrecked. And he still has his Shiba Doge bag and he's trying to file for bankruptcy now. And he's worried that, you know, the government will find his Shiba Doge bag and his crypto and, and this and that. So he, that's what he was really worried about. And, and I kind of like had to pause for a second and, and tell this guy like, bro, you, you, you FOMO'd into everything, not one thing, you FOMO'd into like four other five different things. And the whole, the whole reason you did that was because you had emotions involved and you over leveraged yourself. You put, you, you know, he was on the, on the phone telling me that he's got three kids and he's got, um, you know, he, he's losing everything. He lost his house. He lost all this based off of the decision. So I told him, what was your point? He's like, oh, I was investing it, trying to make money. I was trying to do this. I was trying to do that. And I said, how do you expect to do that if you were in, in and out of your trades in, you know, one day or two days or three days? I said, you weren't investing. What were you really doing? He's like, I was gambling. So I said, exactly. Now that you've come to terms that you were gambling, you got to be able to, um, you know, come to terms with yourself that it was a mistake that you made. Obviously, I gave him the advice. I said, you got to love what you buy. It doesn't matter if it moves up 10% or moves down 10% in that day. If you love what you buy and you know what your plan is for the future of that, you're going to you're gonna hold and you're going to follow the plan and you're going to support the company. You're going to support the project in any way you can to make sure that you, know, you can reach your goal. Because at the end of the day, if you own an asset that belongs to a company or that belongs to a a crypto project or nft or whatever and you're not supporting it then what are you doing you get what i'm saying like why wouldn't you support your own bag why wouldn't you support your own uh investment so that's something that a lot of people don't do is they'll buy something and they'll leave it on the side and let everybody else do the work yeah that's fine that works sometimes but if you're not out there and uh you're not out there supporting what you invested into then like why why invest in the first place so you have to fall in love with what you're investing 
in, right? Um, second part of the question, uh, Fahad, uh, sorry, I lost track. What was the other part of the question that you need that you needed me to answer? Some people just um, some people just get this second thought moment about all right. the decision I I took. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. I know exactly how that feels. Um, and the learning lesson for me is don't ever double think yourself. If if you sit and make a decision, it shouldn't be a spontaneous decision. It should always be something that you've put a little bit of effort into uh, coming up with a uh, reason to make that decision. And once you're able to justify why you want to do that and what your plan is going in and what your plan is going to be long term or even short term then you make that decision and double guessing yourself is one of the worst things you could possibly do because let me tell you why if i double guessed myself when i when i took profits on shiba i would have hated myself right even though i made a ridiculous amount of money on shiba if I still held six days, seven days more, five days more, whatever, I would have made 80, 90% more on my profits, which is big, right? But if I thought about that every day, it would drive me nuts. That, that, that So it's not even just about the profit. It's just about you as a person having that self-awareness uh, and the power to be able to not double think yourself. And if... You get what I'm saying? Like, you need to understand as a person that the decisions that you make are justified and the re decisions that you make are decisions that you've put research into. If you haven't put enough research into it and you haven't um, made up your mind onto the decision that you're making, whether it's a win or lose decision, you're going to double think yourself. And if once you start double thinking yourself, that's when you already lost, because then you're just going to be double thinking that that's going to lead into you double thinking yourself on um, um, 10 other things and then that's that's just where your entire confidence and your entire self-esteem flies right out the window and and you're just part of a st statistic at that point there are people who have a head on their shoulders and make the right business decisions or they make the right uh investment decisions based off of things that they're not emotional about and there are the other half of people who just fomo into things left and right and then like you say have that uh, double thinking feeling happens. So very important to make sure you guys are confident in what you're getting yourselves into so that you don't have to sit there and, and worry about, um, you know, having to make decisions like that. So that's in anything that's in, that's in here, that's in life, that's in buying a car, that's in buying a house, that's in anything, right? So to take that with a grain of salt, but apply it to every, every part of your life and, and you will find success. And, and also, I want to add, uh, if I may, that no success feels the same or, or give you this extreme pleasure once you get it, if it doesn't go through some road bumps. And <coughs> personally, I hate people who give up easily. I hate people who question themselves from the first critical moment. I always believe yeah. people who, who stick to their beliefs, if they made the decision in life, in investment, in marriage, in whatsoever, they stick to it and they go through the good and the bad things and until they, until they enjoy the final feeling upon success because they made their decision based on a, a very logical analysis at the beginning. Easy. Easy as that, man. You just have to, you have to take your, your wins as a, as a strong individual and you also have to take your L's as a strong individual. That's it. Once you start breaking that uh, that self-esteem that you have built for yourself, that's when things will start spiraling down. You know, road bumps will happen. Look at Tesla, for example. Tesla was one week away from going bankrupt. If if one little extra thing went wrong in that process, we might have not, you know, had Tesla today. So, you know, it, it's always about persistency and it's always about not double thinking yourself. If if Elon Musk double double thinked his decisions and he was one week away from bankruptcy, he could have very easily took a very bad deal to save himself, but he didn't because he knew what he knew what he wanted, he knew what his goal was and he knew how he was going to achieve it. So, you know, obviously I'm not on his level 
and I don't think anybody in here is on the same same level as Elon financially or even uh, uh, responsibility wise. But even if we could take that and scale it down to our everyday um, decisions, you know, that mentality, scale it down to our everyday decisions, no matter how big or how small, we we will see great success because persistency is key, man. Persistency is key. It's not about doing it once. You know, if you want to become a master at something, you don't just do it once. And why is there a reason that people aren't a master at everything? It's because some people just do it once or twice and give up. But the people who stick to it and do that same, same whatever the hell they're doing a million times or 10,000 times, they become great at it and they become successful at it. So, you know, that's that's the thing. It's about being persistent and it's about being consistent. So don't doubt yourself, man. That's great, man. That's great. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, so um, what would you say about Unity? Because we're about Unity, right? There's some members that have mentioned that there's all these projects coming out, but like, like why can't they just drop it in our main chat or just talk about it whenever they want? You know, like we're about Unity at the end of the day, right? That's what they say. What would you say to that? Yeah, so we are about Unity, but our chat is is specifically a Shiba Doge burn and and Shiba Doge NFT chat. This is not, it's we're not a call channel and we're not a shill channel either. So um, everyone's free to talk about whatever they want to talk about, but you know we we don't want you shilling anybody anything else. Not even Shiba, not even Doge. You get what I'm saying? Is because we have to respect what we're putting, what the work that we're putting in as a community and as devs to create this community that we have. And no one's telling people to um, make any decisions based off anything. It's just respect the uh, the chat for what it is. And we are a Unity uh, project, which we will be doing another Unity event, which I'll be announcing on Thursday. It's going to involve 16 of the biggest projects in the space. Now, at the end of the day, Unity can stand for many different things, right? Unity, in my opinion, has to do with things that are established and want to be on the same page as a as a whole. And a lot of these projects that we're going to be uh, collaborate, not collaborating with, but uh, including into the, the Unity event that we're, we're um, going to announce on Thursday, you know, uh, everyone is pretty much on the same page and, and pretty much is established and has been around for at least more, more than a year at, at this point, you know, so these are all established people. People. These are all people who are safe havens in the space. We definitely could bring on 20, 30, 40, 50 other projects if we wanted to, but the, that's not the point. The point is to uh, highlight the people who have created something that has changed the world in DeFi and has made an impact in the space that we're in. So, you know, I don't mind when people talk about other projects. I actually like it and I actually. Uh, learn a lot too when people mention something I look into it here and there and maybe I can learn a thing or two but you know sh we're not a call channel and we're not a we're not a, a gambling channel either for people to be you know shouting things out left and right um, because we feel responsible if if anybody uh, you know runs into any trouble so you know if you guys want to talk about other stuff feel free to feel free to DM each other and talk about whatever you guys want to talk about but you know in the in the main chat Let's just keep it simple. Let's keep it professional. Let's keep it Shiba Doge related because, you know, we do have thousands of people who skim through the chat on a daily basis. And, you know, they're, they're here for one reason is to, to be a part of the Shiba Doge community. Yeah, exactly. And at the end of the day, these uh, projects that people are dropping, it's not been checked by any of the teams, you know. So, you know, like, I guess in order for you guys to say it's okay, you gotta, you're going to have to check it, right? Spend time checking it, making sure it's safe. Bro, I, I wouldn't, at this point, I wouldn't be able to say any project is okay other than our project because I, I know what's going on with our project. Even right. even with Shiba, I could wake up tomorrow and Shiba could be absolutely rugged. And Shiba was pretty much absolutely rugged at one point by Vitalik 
out of all people, you know? <laughs> so it's like, no, I don't know what's safe. I know we're safe because I know that we're safe. But everybody else, I can't speak on anybody. I can't speak on, like, look at look at people like, not to bag on any, any project or anything like that because they have nothing but respect for people who are trying to build in this space. But, you know, look at... Look at people like Kishu, six billion dollar market cap. Look at them now. Look at people like Saitama, three billion dollar market cap. Look at them now. Like right. you can't predict none of this, right? What's going to happen is going to happen. Recoveries happen, downfalls happen, uh, surges happen. It, it, at the end of the day, it's all a numbers game, and you just got to be placed in the right place at the right time, or some place. Sometimes you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Wrong time, but. The best way to, to navigate through that is to actually do research. And you can't do research on things that are one day old. You get what I'm saying? So right. at, at that point, it's it's gambling. So obviously, we're we're approaching our one year anniversary. We've we've made a uh, stride as to what we are, what we stand for, who we represent, what we represent, where we came from, where we want to be. So, you know, uh, there is a lot of content out there for people to be able to do their own research on Shiba Doge, on Burn, on the NFTs. And there's a lot more content being made and produced right now as we speak. We're making sure that it's a place, a safe haven where people can actually do their own research, get information that they need, come into the chats and find relevant information related to the project and related to everything else that, that we got going on. Um, and you, you get what I'm saying? If you guys want to, yeah. if you guys want to play around and, and, uh, turn it into a call channel, go somewhere else. But we're, we're not going to turn this this chat into a call channel, bro. Right, right. But like, you know, the, the like, for example, you partnered with uh, Shinja for that event. Obviously, you, you, you know, you checked that it wasn't a rock or, or anything like that. Like, you trust them, right? Isn't that why you partnered with them? Well, we partnered with them because they were on the same page as we were as to what, what wanted to happen in the space, right? right. Um, they were actually a leading project in the space. They, they were about at a billion dollars in market cap at their high. Um, so obviously, they solidified themselves. They were much bigger than we were at some point. Obviously, we had some one-on-one -on -one conversations with their, their development team and right. their marketing team and everything else. So yeah, we were able to make sure that it's not just some random people behind the random project obviously you know we still never told anyone hey go buy shinjo or hey go buy this or that or whatever we've never done that and we never will do that but you know the people that we choose to work with are people who are like-minded in the space that actually want you know to build on the space succeed in the space and actually have a uh, sort of love connection with their community because that's what matters to us is being able to make sure that they could connect to their community just the same way that we want to connect with our community. So, you know, that that's what we look for when we're making uh, those type of partnerships, which we haven't really done much of because we don't want to do much of because, like I say, um, unity is great and unity is bringing the whole broader experience of people together. But those types of partnerships, in a sense, I feel like I feel like we don't know what to expect because let's say if we if we had made a partnership with with Kishu at six billion dollars and then they you know went down to whatever market cap they're at now people would be like oh look Kishu got rugged or this or that that's not the case man that's not how that works it's it's there's a lot more that goes into it than just that which is those are the people who don't understand because they're driving just based off FOMO and they're buying at those crazy all time highs when they're not looking for those right entry points. And, you know, it just, it, it, that's just the name of the game. And that's that's something that you can never change, man. I mean, you could try to yeah. teach it, but that's something that you can never change. Yep. Yeah, yeah man. It, it, bro, listen, like, I want everybody to succeed no matter what they're doing and no matter what, what space they're in and no matter what they what they do. The only the only wish that I have is for people to do it uh, honestly and for people to do it correctly because there are no shortcuts in success, absolutely not. And if you do find a shortcut in success, it will come back and bite you in your butt. So it's all about taking the time to do things right and taking the time to 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 do things properly, and you know people will succeed no matter what they do. So that that that's what I respect, and that's that's the whole part of unity is everybody being together on the same page, doing things correctly and honestly, and uh, with a good heart. Because you know, once you get 
any kind of greed and once you get any kind of bad intentions involved then everything falls apart so that's a no-no and i mean yeah. I'm, I'm not i'm not calling anybody out or doing anything i'm just saying like that's that's what we support we support good-hearted people we support people who are like-minded in the space and want the, the space of web3 and blockchain to thrive and that's it every er, everybody who who is on that same page is welcome to be uh you know friends with us that that's literally it right right yeah, and i like all the people you guys have uh, partnered with this. you know they've been good project in my uh, opinion you know? been good yeah we try to make sure to pick good projects man you know and, and and even if we don't pick a good project that 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 would mean that they were a good project at the time and we were right deceived you get what i'm saying that's why we don't do these every week and we do them very rarely but we make sure to do quality over quantity right, right. Yeah. Yeah. anyone want to say anything just on mute come up and speak yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, oh yeah Yes, sir. Sir, I have a doubt. So, if I go to Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko, there is no not showing anything like uh, the the rate and uh, the prices and the market cap. They are not showing anything. So, I have a doubt. What is the highest market cap we ever been before? So, our our highest our highest market cap was about two hundred and fifty million. It might have been like two hundred fifty six, two hundred fifty seven million dollars at our, at our all time high back in January or uh, early February. Okay, okay, that's not, okay. Thank you so much for. Yeah, of course, man. No problem. Yeah, and you can find anyone, sir. Uh, one more thing, sir. I think there sure. is a glitch. They are not showing anything in a coin my time. And you, I think you need to fix it up because a lot of people have doubts according to that. If they come to that page, they will not see the rates and the, they means they a lot of people get doubt, right? So that's why right, right. you need to fix it up. I think. Let me check it real quick. So I thought we were good there for now. Yeah, it looks like we're back on on coin market cap but yeah i mean we they're they're slowly fixing it we had put in a ticket um a few weeks back and you know it's taken them a little bit of time to get to us but they're getting it taken care of so it should be fixed pretty soon um that's on coin market cap side uh i'll, I'll have to check with coin gecko and see what kind of updates we see on that end but yeah we're on top of it bro thank you for pointing it out sure and sure one more thing i just want to ask you sir uh, sure are you planning any migration or what something because if i because i am a little busy guy if i do invest i will not going to open my wallet till six months like that if you are planning to migrate so let me know a uh, lot of people uh, they are yeah, no, that, that... a lot of supply right a lot of people supply is there so a lot of a lot of project it will get migrate because they want to decrease their supply so like yeah, no, um, we're like we're not, yeah, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna migrate anything. So, yes, thank you for. So you don't have to worry answer. about that. Yeah, for sure, man. Thanks. So, um, what would you say to the project uh, like pumping hard all of a sudden? You know, like they've been released a couple, about four or five days ago, for example, and then there's pumping hard and people are like, look at this this is going crazy what's going on what would you say to that that's that's the, that's that's the space of DeFi, bro that's the beautiful part of DeFi. that's that's what happens and you, you just you can't stop it that's why people love this space so much is because anything can pump and anything can can go go wild and that's the thing but then you look back at the statistics and it's like you know not a lot of projects make it so right. so it's you know that that that's why a lot of people make a lot of money in DeFi and a lot of people also lose a lot of money in DeFi. It's just about the decisions that you make. So, you know, the, I, if you go to Dex Tools every single day, you go to top gainers, you'll see people who are gaining, you know, ninety nine thousand percent in a day, thousand percent in a day, five hundred percent in a day. It just that's going to happen today. That's going to happen tomorrow. That's going to happen for for years to come. It just that's that's the game. It's it's about how how they scale it and how they maintain it and how they keep keep that so you know that's the that's where 
it gets hard. And that's where it gets challenging for a lot of people because anybody could put a project out there. Uh, a 13 year old could put a project out there with very little crypto knowledge, but it's, is it going to be a good project? Who knows? Is it going to be something that he's going to be able to maintain? Who knows? But the, the part of the matter is there's, you know, people who treat it like a, a, not a business, but like a passion. And then there's people who want to do it just because they want to do it and make a couple bucks here and there. And then, right. you know, that, 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 that's the two, there's no in between that that's, that's what we see in the space. And referring to my earlier statistic, you know, 9.8 out of 10 projects that have been launched on Uniswap. You could look this up. I'm not making this up. 9.8 out of 10 projects launched on Uniswap have been rugs. So, you yeah. know, it's it's a very small percentage of people who actually stay dedicated and last for however long they decide to last. So, but yeah, man, I mean, you, you, you see green candles all day in DeFi. That's, that's the beauty of DeFi. Yeah, but what I've noticed is the green candles come down quite quick after a while, you know, a couple of days. Yeah, the, the, the faster they go up, the fa as fast as they could go up, that's how fast they could go down, man. That's just, right. you know, we even we even experienced that too, you know, when, when Shiba Doge first launched. Like, uh, you know, we went from one mil to two mil back to one mil. And then it, 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 it's about the people who are able to actually turn it into something and have a plan coming in rather than the people who just uh, want to, you know, do it for the reasons just to do it. So obviously from day one, I'm sure a lot of people have been here for a very long time, but since day one, we've always laid down, laid out what we're doing, what we want to do, what we want to achieve, where we want to be, uh, what our, you know, yearly goals are and, and how we want to achieve it. Obviously um, my goal was 50 K holders by the end of this year. Um, doesn't look like we're going to meet that goal, but we got pretty damn close and we, we made a really good effort to do so, right? We're sitting at uh, over 26,000 holders uh, in under a year. And that's a, that's a feat of its own. That's massive. You don't see that every day. You don't see that every year, you know? That's just uh, the power of being able to uh, manifest your, your passion and put your blood, sweat, and tears into what you're doing and people will recognize, you know, that, that, that that's the difference. So uh, the, the effort will always outlast the, the attempt. Uh, the effort is always what matters. And, and our, our efforts haven't, haven't decreased. They've only increased and we've only made bigger decisions as we grew. And we've only uh, wanted to put ourselves into better positions as, as the project grows too. So, you know, the future is definitely bright for Shiba Doge as far as developments and as far, far as utility and as far as community. So, uh, I mean, we're only 10 months old, man. So the things that we were able to achieve, the things that we were able to achieve in sh such a short period of time, you know, uh, sometimes I feel very um, desensitized to it because I, I live in it every single day. So, you know, some days I'll feel down like, oh, hey, we got to start doing something big. But then I'll, I'll look back at the bigger picture and I'll zoom out and I'll be like, OK, you know what? We actually made history with a lot of things that we've done. So um, that helps me motivate myself back into knowing that we're on the right track. And, and the things that we've done this year are nothing compared to what we're going to be doing next year. And then the, the things that we do the year after that are going to be nothing compared to the things that we've done to the year prior. So that's the beautiful part of what we want out of this project is we just want to continuously keep developing, growing, progressing, and becoming a better version of ourselves every single year. And, you know, the people who are along for the ride are going to be along for the ride. And the people who decide to not wear their seatbelt might fall off. So, you know, the, nobody said that the, nobody said the, the, the road to where we're going is going to be a smooth ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And just like anything else, it's, if you can outlast the ride, you can, you can uh, get to your destination whether our destination can be here in a year or in a month, who knows? Everyone's destination is different. Everyone is getting off at a different stop. But I'm going to ride this 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 train to the very end. And, right. I mean, there, there are people who will be riding with me as well, and there are people who, who, who will get off at the next stop. So that, that's, just how, that's just how the world works, bro. Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, one guy, um, like, he sent me three projects that he put money into right and then um like i don't know why he just sends me these deck tool links like buy this buy this and i just i, I don't say anything i just go to you and just go and have a look at it you know and um i checked it the other day and i saw all three of them got rugs all three of them that he gave me 
the liquidity was literally drained, you know? Like drained. <laughs> that statistic doesn't lie, bro. I'm telling you, I didn't make that statistic up. I, I right. that statistic is there. You guys could Google it. Ninety seven point seven percent of all projects launched on Uniswap have been rugged, which is it's mind blowing to me, man. Like wow. That's that sucks, bro. It honestly sucks because that means a lot of people got wrecked. Oh yeah. So, you know it's it's still hey, the wild, uh, wild west out here for people. What's up, Deshaun? Hey man. Um I I have a question. How do you how how do you know when it's being a, a rug pool? Like I'm like I said, I'm still learning. So so how do you know when it's a rug pool? Man, it, it that's such a hard question, bro. Uh so a lot of these, a lot of these devs like that do these rug pulls, man. It, it, it's all making it disguised as not a rug pull, right? Because obviously no one's gonna buy a rug pull. <laughs> so okay. it, it's hard, man. It, it's 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 really hard to to explain. There's multiple different ways. It's just you got to look at the fundamentals. You got to be able to do your own research. If there isn't enough information on the table, you should always question it. If there isn't enough background on on um you know, anything you should question it. Uh, obviously, some of those things that don't have background and don't have much information are just because they're new projects and uh, they may not be rugs. I'm not calling every project a rug, but um, you, it, it's always best to be able to do as much research as you possibly can to be able to identify those because it's very hard to identify them nowadays, man. You go on, you know, live new pairs and you'll see 10 different things being launched every hour or every minute, uh, depending on the, the time of day. And, you know, good luck trying to figure out which one's a rug and which one's not. So, you know, try to try to make sure uh, to, to get into projects that, that have been talked about for a long time uh, with, you know, even influencers talk about these projects, even um, people raise money and raise capital to get these projects up and running and going so that, you know, there are a lot of good projects that come to life that people can actually do some background research on before they're even launched. So, you know, those are some key things to look out for. Um, but other than that, man, it, 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 it's really, it's really hard to be able to point one out because they all look alike and they all look the same and, and they all have, you know, the, the same intentions in a way you're just not able to identify that until it's too late. So that's why a lot of people play uh, chicken and they say like, oh, who could sell first? So, so you know, <laughs> there's a game of chicken is like, who, who could hold their bag, you know, the, the longest without it getting rugged. So. That's <laughs> that. That's just the okay. wild, wild west, man. Cause I know I I, I noticed how um, with Shiba Doge have pair, and so by me still learning. So I look at I look at other projects, and and I only just see not one pair. I just see that they just um, I guess Unis I guess Uniswap is uh, considered a pair. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um. Well, so 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 they would have to be paired no matter what for it to be live mm -hmm. on Uniswap in a sense, because well, you could be live without a pair, but you wouldn't be nobody would be able to buy anything because there is nothing paired with it, right? You get what I'm saying? Right. So it's right. it's like if if Shiba Doge weren't paired with anything, you wouldn't be able to use anything to buy it because there would be nothing paired with it. But we're shared, where we're paired with ETH, so you can use ETH to get Shiba Doge. So mm -hmm. te technically everything on Uniswap that's live and has a liquidity pool is paired with something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just learning. Listen and learning. <laughs> yeah, man. Perfect. Well, I love these questions because, you know, it just shows that people are showing interest in, in some of the things that we're talking about and trying to learn in the space. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, cause I have, I had got a uh, bought some other um, uh, coins from different other projects, but I noticed that, uh, when I see that it was impaired, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty much screwed because I don't know, is it going to be paired up with uh, pancake swap or you know what I'm saying or anything like that. So as of now, it's only it's only two coins. But like I said, I'm learning as I go though. So that's you why I actually. Yeah, man. Yeah, a, a lot of times, bro. The the best advice I could give you is don't try to be the first investor. You know, in a project, obviously, it sometimes it pays to be be early, but uh, a lot of times it it saves to actually um, stick around and and hang out in the background and watch how things unfold before you, you know, put put yourself into a situation that you're gonna be double thinking yourself, just, just like how we were talking about double thinking a little bit earlier. So it's always best to to be able to make a sure decision rather than make a risky decision. 
But, you know, life is always about risk too. So I can't tell you what to do and what not to do. I could just, you know, advise you to to make sure you try to make the best decisions for yourself. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm not a saying, I, you know, I, I say it like, yeah, of course, I'm me. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I, I want to be the first one to to get in on the project. Just like I missed, I missed. I missed the opportunity for Doge, and I missed the opportunity for Shib, even though I'm holding both. But during that time, I didn't, you know, I didn't know at the time. So, and so now it's like, okay, when is it going to be another perfect time to where I can be able to get in on on opportunity where it starts early? But, you right. Know, right. Yeah, man. And I mean, you, you, you're you you're making that a possibility for yourself by being involved in, in discussions like this, because, you know, there are people who are not involved in discussions like this and people who are not searching the web for the things that you, you and other people who are in this chat are searching the webs for. So, you know, you're putting yourself already in an opportunity to find that next gem, to be a part of that next gem and, and to be, you know, involved with that next life changing thing, whether it's here, or whether it's somewhere else, it doesn't matter. The, the important thing is that, um, that, that you guys are are in the space now. You get what I'm saying? So the, the people who made it in Shiba, the people who made it in Doge were people who were already in the space before it happened, not the people who joined after it happened, right? So that that's the whole thing is, you know, you miss Shiba, you miss Doge, that sucks. You weren't you weren't a part of it, but, you know, the, the whole point of Shiba Doge is to try to recreate that whole scenario again and try to recreate that, 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 that amazing, uh, uh, upbringing that happened in, in, in both of those tokens that we were we were so heavily a part of and we're still currently so heavily a part of you know um dogecoin traded sideways for what six months since may since april it was like trading sideways and then just all of a sudden one weekend you fall asleep you open your eyes and it's up 130 percent. so you know that, that that's just the power of the space that's the power of patience that's the power of uh, of community because Dogecoin has a crazy community back in them, probably the craziest community, even crazier than Shiba. It's just they're not outspoken like the Shiba community was and is because uh, there, there really isn't a place for, for Doge people to come together, which is, you know, what, one of our attempts with, with creating this chat room was to bring Doge people in. Um, but that I guess, you know, they really don't want to, they really don't even want to chat about it. They're one of those, those uh, silent investors or something, because even myself being a Dogecoin whale, I can't find the proper community to go in and, and talk to other, you know, like-minded people, like-minded investors who, who are uh, investors in, in Dogecoin. You know, obviously there are some Reddit forums and there are some other forums that, that, that are OG stuff, but you know, uh, they're not as active as you would think they are. Right. So, okay, I have one more question, and then you know that'll be it. Um, have you um thought about uh when it comes to um with the project of having a video game? So yeah, man. So we've thought about that. that. Yeah, we've we've thought about video games, and and we know video game is something that we one hundred percent want to do in the future. Um. It's just a question of doing it right and, and not doing like a crappy half-ass video game like a lot of other people do that that just, you know, we don't want to create something just for the hype, you know, because we could create something stupid and make like a really, really nice like hype about it and hype around it and, and call it mm -hmm. a, the Shiba Doge video game and then release mm -hmm. it and everybody's like, what is this crap, right? So um, it, it doesn't take... Uh, a little bit of effort to create a video game that's good. You got, it takes a little bit of uh, decent effort. Shiba just came out with their video game, and and I love it. I forgot what it's called. I have it on my phone here. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Uh, strange, <laughs> it's called Shiba. No, nah, Shiba Eternal. Shiba Eternity. Yeah, Shiba Eternity. Yeah. So it's like a card game, and I, I tried it out, and, and I liked it, man. I thought it was cool. I thought it was engaging. But you know what? Even 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 with that, I I think. I mean the game. I, I mean, me and my cousins we played. But the thing is, it's set up. It's the way how it's set up. It's either whoever go first, going to win, versus whoever go nah. first going to lose. No, no, that's well, not I, true. Well, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm, uh, well, I'm about to replay it again. <laughs> yeah, that's not true, man. It's a it's a strategy game, bro. It's a strategy game, and it has a little bit of RNG, a little bit of luck incorporated with it as well, too. It's a card game, and okay. um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I've had my fair share of wins and my fair share of losses. I've spent a couple hours playing it. I, I thought I was pretty good at it too at one point. So, I mean, 
you know, but the point is that they made a good game. You know, they made a game that people enjoyed playing and people still play today and have fun playing. And that, the thing is, there isn't any, um, there isn't any shilling involved, right? And the reason why they did that is because, look, Shiva Eternity, when it came out, it was number two or number three on the entire Apple App Store for uh, like a week straight. And oh. imagine the amount of imagine the amount of exposure you get just from that. You know, you don't always have to create something that's a shill. You don't always have to create something that's a um, direct finger pointed at, at the project. A lot of times it's better to actually create something that's a valuable product and something that can actually bring a lot of use to a lot of people, um, whether it's on Web 3 or whether it's on Web 2 or whatever, but something that people can actually get into. And then slowly they will actually look into it and be like, hey, okay, this was brought to you by Shiba Doge or this was brought to you by Shiba Doge Labs and, and whatnot. So that's the whole point moving forward is to be able to continue to bring valuable products. And, and honestly, you know, we're inspired by the people who are doing right uh, in the space and doing things that um, are a little bit different and are unique because you, we just get inspired by it, man. We, we want to make sure that we can bring value to you people, whether, you know, in whatever form it is, whether it's knowledge or whether it's, you know, utility or whatever, but we want to be able to make sure that we stay ahead of that curve because uh, somebody once told me a dollar, you can make money, but a dollar only spends once. But if you make knowledge and you gain knowledge that you can monetize that for an eternity. So um, we want to be able to, to, to somehow provide both. Right. So um the, the, the mission is strong and, and the, the, the drive that we have to continue moving forward and progressing as a project and as a company and as a, as a, a community is, is stronger than ever. Um, so anybody who, who is a supporter honestly gets it. People who, who attend these AMAs, they know what we're talking about. And, and I, I, I kind of repeat myself a lot because we get a lot of new people in, in these AMAs and we get a lot of new listeners on, on YouTube um, listening to these AMAs. So, I always try to make sure to touch up on the key points and the things that are true to us and the things that really matter to us as a community and as a project. Um, and, you know, I, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but sometimes I, I, I do it purposely to, to make sure the point is uh, understood across the board. Right. 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 I agree. I agree. All right. I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm done with my question. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, bro. I appreciate you coming up, man. You had a you had a solid set of questions, bro, and and uh, I'm happy you, you you've been you've been uh joining these AMAs pretty frequently, man. So hopefully you're able to learn a thing or two every now and then. So you know if we're able to help you even once, so. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Have a good day, bro. You too, man. Yeah, man. That's great. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Yeah, so I was just going to quickly say also, I mean, some of these projects that, the three projects that Rogue did, um, he showed luck liquidity, the renowned contract. That's what he was basing it upon, saying that, look, bro, it's luck liquidity, it's uh, renowned contract. And I go, and I was like, okay, man, whatever, carry on, man. Do what you got to do. I'm, I'm the old Shiba Doge, man, you know, like, I need to buy more NFTs, bro, you know. Yeah, bro. And, and think about it like this, Roof. It's it's not even about like if somebody shows you a good project and you look into it and you think it's a good project too, you're not this isn't a cult, bro. This isn't we're not locking nobody in here and saying don't don't support any other project. No, man. I <laughs> that's 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 absolutely not what, what we're doing. It's just you gotta always be able to make that decision yourself. And we can't make that decision for you. I can't make that decision for you. And, and I don't want I don't want the rest of our chat to be making that those, those decisions for people either, because like I said, we're not a call channel. But um, you know, you made a good point. A lot of these people are are, are pointing to the facts and, and they're 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 going to the three key things. Oh, they're like, oh, liquidity is locked, oh, um, whatever else is renounced and and the dev is doxed or whatever. It doesn't matter, bro. It, it doesn't matter if people are in there starting it for a for the wrong um, intentions, and they know from the start that they want to rug it. They're gonna that there is something in there that is going to maybe it's a line of code, maybe it's a hidden wallet, maybe it's something in there that that is going to absolutely wreck people, and they don't they just don't see it coming. But like I said, you, it's very hard to point those projects out, and it's very hard to see what those projects are because nobody wants to. Nobody wants to launch their project and make it make it seem like it's a rug, you know. 
So that, that, that's why it's still the wild, wild west out here. But that's why that statistic of 9.7, 9.8 out of 10 projects that launch on Uniswap are rugs. It's sad truth, man. And it, it, it makes me feel bad because that means 98% of people who invested in these projects got absolutely wrecked. And and who's benefiting from that? It, the, the people who are benefiting from that are the, the people with bad intentions that are out there driving Lambos and Ferraris showing off saying that there's some crypto geniuses just because they ripped some people off online. That's not the point. That's not the point of blockchain. That's not the point of crypto. And, and it really angers me you know, when, when I see things like that. So every, just be safe, everybody. Just be able to do your own research. There are a lot of great projects out there, a ton. Right. There's a ton of great projects. You know, Don't try to always be the get into the most DGN thing. I mean, you could, and you might be able to see some success, but that's not a decision for me to make. I'm, I, I could just let you guys know that statistically, <laughs> You're probably gonna get wrecked. Right. I mean, like with Shiva, though. I spent about two weeks. You know, like I didn't put no money into it. I was listening to you. I was listening to, you know, making sure you guys are doing what you're saying and do. I didn't put no money in. I was just like, just stay. Yeah, bro. And I don't blame you. I don't blame. I don't blame anybody because it, it would take a lot of risk and a lot of balls for people to to jump in on a project that's one day old. Even our project. There wasn't a lot to do research on when we first came out. So the people who were the, the early adopters, the, the first day buyers, I mean, I mean, yeah, those were the, the those were the people who were just gambling on 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 DGen stuff. Like, let's just yeah. be honest. But uh, you know, the, the the they stuck around because they they knew that you know we're not one of those statistical projects. We're actually different. We're actually unique. We actually have a vision. We actually want to grow. We actually want to be a, a worldwide name, and we want to we're. We want to be uh, ideally someday, one day, the biggest meme coin in our genre. So, yeah. you know, it, it's all about it's all about your, your the path that you're taking, not how you get there. And we we know that it's going to be a long road ahead. And I mean, the people who are sticking around, some of them are from day one, and they change their whole perspective on how they they look at DeFi. And some of them are still, you know, the same people that they were back then, which is fine. I mean, right. their success success comes in many shapes uh, and, and and forms. You know, there isn't one specific way to be successful. Everyone finds success in their own way, uh, and you, you can never you can never hate on people. I personally got rugged a million times too when I was first experimenting in this space. I lost almost all of my my savings on my first uh, um, investment in Bitconnect when i first discovered crypto you know what i'm yeah. saying it, 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 i could have i could have very easily said crypto is a scam forever and never never returned to the place and if i if i did that i would never have been uh as successful as i was in in shiba and doge you know so right. uh rugs happen man it's a part of the space and it, it, it's unfortunate but hopefully as you know the space matures and people catch on to these things they'll they'll be able to um, navigate their way you know much smoother in in the, the space of web3 right and that's why you know when someone says to me this project's good or whatever no one's saying don't invest in it right? you know like my my strategy is like, if i'm going to invest in a project i'm going to have to go and really spend some time in that project listen to the developers follow it for a couple of weeks and then i'll put my dollar in it you know i'll put a small amount i'm not going to even put a big amount in i'm going to put a small amount and continually watch the project and follow the project and like for example shiba doge when i first came in here you guys said oh we're gonna go on this new exchange we'll hop the i remember you guys and i was like okay i'm, I'm gonna wait until they get onto that you know let's see if they really do it because they could be just bullshitting you know like that's what my thought mentality was at the time you know, <laughs> you know yeah I mean? man like, and i can't blame you i can't blame you because you know statistically you have to be that careful you know, if 98% of the projects are, are, are deceiving people, you know, as, as good, as good of hearts that, as we have, and as big of a community as we built from day one, the people looking at our project on day one, wouldn't be able to differentiate us from any of those other projects because right. there was not enough detail to, to do research on. And you can't blame anybody for that, you know, yeah. but that's fine, man. Yeah. That, that's the game. That's, and that's how it's played. Research, you know, I, that's what I research, man. Research is, is king, man. Research is king. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that can help you sleep good at night based off your decisions. If 
you know, if I, if I don't look at my bank account, for example, right? right? If I don't look at my bank account, but I decide to go on the spending spree and I spend every dollar in there without knowing, because I knew I have a lot of money in my bank account, but then after my spending spree is done, I look at it and I'm broke. I'm going to regret doing that. Right? right. But if I look at my bank account and know I have $10,000 in there, for example, I'm not going to go and spend $12,000. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. So, you know, research comes in many different ways and shapes and forms too. And uh, <laughs> you just got to be able to make sure that you're trying to get into something that's safe, right? That's all that matters. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking risks too, man. I took a huge risk when I, when I bought BitConnect and I got, I got absolutely, I got absolutely smashed. But, um, you know, if it turned out differently and BitConnect wasn't a scam, uh, I might've been extremely rich just based off that one investment, you know? So, you know, risk is a part of, of, of the game too. And that, that's just something people have to account for when they're making their decisions. So, right, right. you know, it, a, a combination of, of luck, a combination of risk and a combination of research is, is a, is a cocktail for uh, success in my opinion. But, you know, research is all always outweighs uh, the, 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 the other two things I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the like that's straight up to me. Gambling, you know, like if a project just launched and I just jump into it, that would be me taking a high risk, you know. But the reward could be very. Yeah, high. it's it's a gamble. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. it's a gamble. Yeah. But me following a project for a couple of weeks and then putting money into it after doing research, I know that project is there's a higher chance of that staying, you know, like sticking. So yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's what I do, man. Exactly. Well, people do both ways. That's what I do too. That's what I do too. When I when I invest in something, when I buy something, I want to make sure that whatever I'm buying is going to be around ten years from now, five right. years from now, three years from now, even a year from now, right? I, because I don't want to check in on my investment every single hour. I don't want to check in on it every single day. I just want to make sure that whatever I'm buying, I've been able to do enough adequate research on to know that hey i'm i'm happy holding this until whatever amount of time that i've decided in my head that i want to hold it and doing that with the uh, with with things that don't have context is hard so you know context yeah. is definitely important yeah and it's uh, it's you guys that gave me the confidence you know like the developers like when i first came it all it all starts with the leader man it all yeah. starts with a leader exactly and that's why i'm here that's why i'm here so long I wouldn't be here if it was a, if I didn't believe in what you guys are doing. If I didn't believe that you guys are capable of doing, taking this project to these next levels, you know, I would not be here, bro. I'm here ten months. I've been here every single day. I haven't taken one day off, you know, for ten months because I believe that you guys are capable of doing everything that you say you're gonna do, you know, and that's what matters. I mean, uh, to 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 this point, I can I can say that we've pretty much done everything that we've said we're going to do and, and we're going to continue doing everything that we say we're going to do. We, we never over promise. We always over deliver where, wherever we can. Right. But we'll, we'll never promise anything that we're, we're uh, not sure we can achieve. Um, we'll work on those type of things in the background. And if we're able to do them, we will do them and surprise you guys with it. But you know, that's one thing that I learned is to never over promise because that's when things get uh, choppy and, you know, um, you just don't want to look bad in front of other people when, when you're not able to deliver on something that you promise on. So um, yep. we never promise anything that we can't deliver, man. Never. Yeah. And, um, and, just... and mm-hmm. yeah. And, and the thing is we've uh, as a team that like, we're, we're very experienced in being able to scale things. So, you know, we're just looking at this as, as another scalable, scalable thing that something that we've done a hundred times uh, over again, right? In business, in the real world, in, in web two and web one, in, in our real worlds, so we've been able to build businesses and scale them and, and, you know, turn them into massive things. So it's like, this is the same concept, except it's, it's digital, it's on blockchain, it's on web three. So, you know, we, I could confidently say we have the experience to, to, to give this the best shot that we possibly can. Yeah, and I just can't, and I, and I can imagine when the market picks up, you guys, are, I, I just can imagine what you're going to do, you know. I, I just, you guys are going to go crazy. I know. 
Yeah, it's a, it's not you guys, bro. It's us. It's, it's we as a community, as as a group of people, as 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 a group of believers, and as a as a group of people who actually just want to see success for everybody. Yeah, that's the whole point of Shiba though, just so everybody can make it. Everybody can feel that uh that feeling that they missed out on with Shiba with Doge and you know that's never changed and that that right. won't change and I, I really 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 want to be able to achieve that i really really want to be able to give that feeling to people especially all, you know all these people that are in here right now because you guys deserve it more than anybody so i mean everybody that we've made connections with and anybody in here that we've made uh friends with or uh, just talk with on a weekly basis daily basis everybody here deserves to to win man everybody needs that win you know some people might yeah. consider 10 grand to win some people might consider 100 grand to win but i want that i want to give people that big win the life-changing win man and you know whether we're able to do that or not whether we're able to do that or not we're going to give it our best ab absolute shot and 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 give it out however long it takes so you know we we know that we're persistent and we know we're consistent and capable enough to give it a, a run for its money and we're going to attempt everything that we can to do so well you guys are doing everything right man you know you got you're not you know there's some developers out there that are doing things wrong you know in my opinion going in the wrong direction um, but with chiba doge you know you guys are doing everything in, in going in the right direction you're building like that video team that you bought out that is great for the project i mean excellent you know like the passive income from the staking like that's great you know like literally we're making money in a bear market the reflections we're getting from the token i mean everything is kind of already rewarding the community you know which is uh, a lot of projects i can't i can't say the same thing yeah man yeah i mean you know let's not discredit a lot of other projects because you know there are a lot of great projects out there roof it it, it, it just Right. I like to focus on our project and how unique we are because if I start focusing on everything else out there, I, you know, I, yeah. I I just can't because I have so much on my plate and so much that we need to get done in, in our circle and our group and our our, our uh, community that uh, you know there are other other projects there are other companies there are other there's always others but yeah. that you know you can't you can't go out there and choose them easily it's just something that comes on your lap and. You know, you take everything with a grain of salt. So, you know, kudos and shout out to all the all the people out there who are doing great things in the space and all the people who are looking out for their communities and looking out yeah. for um, make, making this uh, the future. You know, shout out to everybody who's on that page. But, you know, nothing is going to derail us from from our task and the, the mission that we have at hand. Love it, man. Love it. Talking about our project, Leo, and how, to, how we need to focus, let me just ask you, um, since most of people are around, what do you expect from us when it comes to tomorrow's AMA to have the maximum exposure and the best exposure possible? So, so I'm not going to expect much. You guys will see what 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 I'm going to be expecting. It's going to be very simple. It's going to be very easy for everyone to be able to do. Might, might be just to be a click of a button for for most people. Um, the AMA is not going to be tomorrow, by the way. I, I think think I mentioned it earlier in today's chat, oh. but. Um, it's going to be on Thursday. It's going to be on Thursday. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we'll have a little bit of time leading up to that. But the Unity event that we're we're going to be pushing forward and that we're going to be announcing, it's not going to be a one day event. It's going to be actually close to like a few weeks long. So there will be a lot of time to adapt and a lot of a lot of time to uh, continue pushing, um, you know, more marketing towards it. So uh, I'm sure we're going to need a lot of help from the community in order for it to be as massive as we want it to be, but we're, you know, uh, we have a whole marketing plan for it. And Max is working extremely, extremely hard to, to get this done. And, um, yeah, I think he, I think he's involving like a whole bunch of like 40, 50 TikTokers, a bunch of content creators. Wow. So it's just gonna be a lot of stuff. Yeah. Super amazing and super bullish too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We're excited, man. We're excited. Leo, I got a question. What's up, bro? Uh, are we um, going to try to be accepted in the metaverse as a, a pay uh, coin, uh, token too? Uh, you know, because that's that's one of the biggest things that's happening right now. You know, that's that's going to come on mainstream. Are we going to be in the middle of that too? So yes and no, and I'll tell you I'll tell you why. Yes, because when we do actually implement our our foot into the metaverse and we actually 
create the Shiba Doge world in, in the metaverse, then you know that's where that whole currency thing will will live, where you'll be able to transact with your tokens in the metaverse to like, you know, buy skins or buy whatever. I don't know exactly because we haven't really yeah. thought that through just yet. Mm -hmm. But that's just what I'm guessing people are going to be buying with their metaverse uh, exactly. money, right? <laughs> um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, there will be, you know, options like that moving forward because, if, you know, if we create a Shiba Doge world in the metaverse, obviously the currency of choice is going to be the Shiba Doge token. Um, and we don't so, want to be left out. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly, I mean? man. It's it's always about adapting and, and doing what, yeah. what the market wants and what the what the space wants. So if the space wants to do that and the space is uh, demanding that, then best believe that, that, that we will deliver on that end. Um, the no part of it is that... Um, I, I kind of talked about the metaverse earlier in this call, and um, I, I personally don't think the metaverse is polished up yet, man. And I think that the metaverse probably still needs another year, maybe another year and a half before it's a presentable product. Decentraland is one of the biggest metaverse platforms out there, and they got less than 40 daily users, which is pretty mind-boggling. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. So it's a, you know, it costs a lot of money to to build stuff in the metaverse. Costs a lot of money mm -hmm. to maintain that stuff. But if we're maintaining it for the forty people who are active, <laughs> you know, across yeah. a you know few billion dollar platform. Uh, no, I still, I still, uh, and, I, and and I think Ruth, I don't say it enough time to roof. I think in, I think two years. I think we're going to be more mainstream. I just wanted to just to ask the question to you if we were actually kind of moving towards that too. You know, I know it's not going to be like tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I I, I envision that that would possibly be a possibility because, I mean, people are going to want to transact and buy things in the metaverse, so why not yeah. make the native token Shiba Doge to be able to transact with the Shiba Doge part in the metaverse, mm -hmm. right? So and yeah, that money sense. somehow, right? <laughs> I mean, we are we earn reflections every day. So if we could give people That's a way right. to actually reward themselves and spend their reflections on things that they love in the metaverse, then I mean, all the power to them. No worries. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir, bro. Thank you. Appreciate you coming up. Man, hold on tight. He's got his head screwed on. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he sounds like a solid guy. Oh man, trust me, he's solid. He he's like focused. He knows what he's doing. Guy is. I mean, sometimes I just listen to him and listen to him. I love what he says, you know. That's what we need, bro. We need people to to, to share the knowledge, people to to talk things that make sense. You know, sometimes sometimes not everything is uh, what you want to hear, but sometimes a lot of things are what you have to hear. So yeah. that that we just need straight shooters, and we need more people who are straight shooters, and more people who, you know, don't just tell people what they want to hear only. And I know when people come come in here to, to listen to me, a lot of times uh, they may be leaving disappointed because they might have not heard what they wanted to hear and they might have not, uh, they might have expected something crazy to be announced on, on any given day and maybe they didn't hear it. But I don't want you guys to feel disappointed from that because I, I just want to let you guys know I'm a straight shooter and I'll tell you guys as it is, you know, when we have something big, we will have something big. I will, I will share it. I will let you guys know when things are in, in, in the, the background being worked on and things are in progress, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to be interactive. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to let you guys know that we're not going anywhere and reminding you guys what, what path we're taking and what vision we're on and why we're even here in the first place. So, you know, my job as a, as a, I don't want to say a community leader, but my, my job as part of the community is, is to make sure that that trust maintains and that the people don't get sidetracked and when people are having those feelings of doubt or having those feelings of double thinking themselves they could come up come come here and listen to to what you know we have to say as as uh, devs and as as community members to you know be put uh back in on track as to you know why they got in here in the first place so you know it, it, it's not an easy job man and for people who think it's easy it really isn't but it's something that is, is a duty and it's something that um i'm humbled to do and I, I i i love i love the job so you know nothing in life is easy it's just uh being able to harness the power of it to to to, to be able to excel in that position right so you know um yeah it definitely isn't easy but i do it anyway and i do it for you guys and more most importantly i do it to to maintain the 
vision of the project and to maintain the 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 project that we built and introduced to the space because we we love it we breathe it we cry it we bleed it you know this is what we do we spent uh, a lot of time this year into this and we're going to be spending a whole lot more time into it into the years coming so that there isn't anything for me to to be backtracking on yeah man you sound just as excited as you as you did the first few weeks i listened to you you know <laughs> nothing's changed man nothing's changed you know no bro not, nothing has changed the mission hasn't changed the, the only thing that's changed is we've grown you know we've we've became bigger we've became yeah. more of an army we became we became more united and you know we we've seen the best the best of times we've seen the worst of times as a community you know so you know if that doesn't make you strong i don't know what does right best of times didn't come yet leo best of times is still ahead of us exactly i'm just talking about up to this point you know <laughs> ah, if in this context i agree totally agree yeah 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 guys yeah man we have a lot of crazy stuff that we're we're, we're planning to do man and it, it's 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 not about doing it quick it's not about doing it fast it's not about doing it tomorrow it's it's about doing it right and doing it in a way where it's going to be meaningful and and make a mark so that you know that that's what we're all about that's what we want to be about and we just want to be able to be that positive thing in the space you know whether people like us or not doesn't matter i mean that that's that's our goal and that's our mission and that's our that's our agenda moving forward so um some people were asking like how come you're not doing any more burns with the burn token um like do, do you think it's a good idea to do burns in a bear market what what i would uh, what i would tell those people is to tune in to thursday's ama on twitter spaces oh okay okay <laughs> yeah man you guys don't want to miss thursday's ama it's gonna be a good one we're gonna be talking about a lot of cool things we're gonna be talking about burn we're gonna be talking about shiba doge we're gonna be talking about the unity stuff so there's a lot of a lot of cool things planned for that ama All right, guys. So, yeah, I mean, we should probably wrap this up. Uh, been about an hour and a half. My throat is really dry. I'm still kind of recovering from that weekend sickness, but yeah, I might might get off and rest for a little bit here. If anybody has any final questions, you know, now's the time to speak up. Anything anybody wants to say? Well, I think the um, the stop and the burn is a good thing. I sell that a. a a little bit ago, I didn't ever respond to it, but um, a lot of people think that you got to keep burning and burning and burning to to um, to be successful in the token. But it's that's not if that's not the goal for uh, I think uniting the whole. Um, we we trying to make this a bigger thing than it was supposed to be. Um, we can't burn everything. Exactly, man. If you burn if you burn everything, you'll have nothing else left to burn. <laughs> that's it and, and i know and i i i know for some of us it, it, it might seem like oh well no it's not gonna it's not that way but uh i'm a businessman so uh i understand you only burn in the winter my friend when it's cold yeah, that's it when you need it you don't turn the heater no on in the summer <laughs> yeah, uh you have a blessed evening you too, guys. Hey, um, thank you guys all for tuning in. Uh, it's been great. I love talking to you guys every week. Be sure to not miss Thursday's AMA. I'll, I'll be able to share um, some details on that. I think they're going to be posting up the Twitter Spaces link pretty soon. So whether that's today or tomorrow, um, I'll be sure to share it with you guys in the chat. And I'll be sure to retweet it on my page and the main Shiba Doge page as well on Twitter. So Hopefully we see you guys there. We got some good things we're going to be talking about. If you can't make it, um, you can listen to it. It will be recorded. So all of our AMAs are always recorded. If you relate to this one and you're curious about what we talked about in the beginning, feel free to backtrack. Uh, Roof will have it up on YouTube in a couple hours, at the latest, or I don't know exactly when, Roof. But yeah, um, uh, yeah everything's always recorded. Um, but yeah, guys, with that being said, I love you all. I'll see you guys soon. And as always, if you miss Doge, that sucks. If you miss Shiva, that also sucks. 
if you miss Shiba Doge, then you suck. I mean, I still love you, but you suck. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace and love. I'll talk to you soon. Peace, peace.